What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to talk about the PlayStation VR. Now about two months ago, maybe a little bit more, I made a video discussing the price point of the PlayStation VR. My opinion was it was going to be about 400 bucks, 399 um, to be exact. You guys can go and check out that video, I'll link that into the description. I thought it was pretty cool and notable to say because Sony has announced on the official PlayStation blog for US the price for the PlayStation VR is going to be $399. Now they've also discussed some other things which we'll get into in just a second. The first one that I wanted to talk about besides the price point was the release date. Now there's been a lot of rumor and speculation about the price uh, and about the release date but they're both confirmed now. At least uh, the price is confirmed 100% $399. The launch date is going to be October 2016. They haven't officially locked in a release date as far as when it's going to be released in October. They've just announced that the launch is going to be in October 2016. I'll be paying att uh, close attention to when we can actually pre-order it because I'm going to be on board with this. Um, as soon as I'm able to pre-order it, I'm going to do it. Um, because when I bought my PlayStation 4, I didn't pre-order it and it was a battle to get it on release date. Um, or even close to release date because they were selling out like crazy and I got a feeling that this is going to be the same way with the PlayStation VR. Also, if you guys remembered, uh, the PlayStation 4, when it first got released, it released the camera separately and the camera was sold out absolutely everywhere as well and it took me a little bit longer to, to purchase the camera so I'm definitely jumping on board pre-ordering this baby as soon as it is available to pre-order I'll be looking forward for the October release date of this year I'll keep you guys up to date on the official release date as far as what day in October now on the screen right now as you guys are seeing is what's going to be included in the consumers version of the PSVR now of course we get the VR headset itself we get some headphones and a bunch of other cables and components that will be needed the PlayStation VR upon launch is going to include 50 games that will be available to purchase. One game that will be free for all PlayStation VR owners at launch is the Playroom. The Playroom VR will include six games that you can enjoy with your family and friends and just pretty much show off how freaking awesome this new thing is. Um, I'll be looking at some of the games once they officially release the list of all the games that are going to be announced. I'll keep you guys up to date on that as well and show you guys some of the trailers and stuff and maybe even give you opinions on what I might be purchasing. Um, I know that tight, tight uh, rope uh, game that we saw a while back, I think that one would be cool. There's a, there's a bunch of them. So I'll make a, a separate video once they've released more information about the games that are going to be released with it. They also made a full statement saying that um, they will promise to continue development for games for the PlayStation VR. So it's not just going to be something that gets released and then buried under the rug. They're going to continue to develop on the PlayStation VR. Today, there's over 230 developers that are currently building content for the PlayStation VR. And um, from smaller indie companies to large studios uh, with all the publishing tools, I, it's it's crazy the, the amount of power that... The, and uh, resources that um, each and every company has. There's over 230 developers currently working on games to be developed on the PlayStation VR. So this is actually a promising thing. I know a lot of people are kind of worried like, oh, well, you know, given the news that they just canceled the PlayStation TV, the little device that they, that they sold separately that was able to play some PlayStation 3 games, and uh, watch Netflix and stuff like that. They just canceled that and they stopped 
um, they stopped production completely on that. Um, so a lot of people are kind of like speculating, if you will, the PlayStation VR wouldn't do too well. Um, analysts, I know analysts aren't, aren't always correct, um, but analysts are saying that uh, the PlayStation VR is going to exceed sales in most of the VR uh, competition this year, uh, which is really good. Um, I, I expect it to do the same because I tried the other VRs and the PlayStation VR was completely awesome. I absolutely loved it. So let me know your guys' thoughts, opinions on this matter in the comment section below. Will you guys be pre-ordering the PlayStation VR? Will you guys be excited for the PlayStation VR? Do you guys want to see more games? Um, you know, you want to see a full list of the games? Let me know in the comment section below. I'll be curious to know all those things. If you would take two seconds out of your day, hit a like. That really helps me out. If you haven't already subscribed, I keep you guys up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4, PlayStation Plus news updates. All that good stuff so you don't have to. The only thing you have to do is hit that subscribe button, baby. And I will see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.